Well, good morning, Westside. I have the opportunity to uh, share a meditation with you from uh, Mark chapter 11, beginning in verse 1. And, um, you know, we're just a little bit ahead of um, the Christian calendar as far as our celebration. Um, but today's reading is um, the beginning of what we celebrate on Palm Sunday. And um, that is just a few days away. And um, my, uh, my meditation is going to bring together um, last Sunday's sermon with, um, with this Sunday's celebration. Let me read for you um, these verses. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you. And just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, why are you doing this? Tell them, the Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, what are you doing untying that colt? And they answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloak over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple he looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Um, the triumphal entry. Um, Jesus coming, and coming in a very specific way. Um, planned out, um, ordained, um, predicted. Your king comes riding on a donkey. Not war, but peace. Not with the sword, but ultimately with sacrificial love. Um, you know, that we, um, we, we get more pictures from the other Gospels, um, but it is a powerful picture. Uh, as people, it, it was part of the promise. They, they understood it. They didn't get all of it. Um, what, you know, and what starts out on, on this day where everybody welcomes and, and celebrates and, um, you know, and what we commemorate on Palm Sunday. Um, the palm branches were, were a national symbol. Um, and uh, they had had a brief period of time where um, under the um, Hasmoneans, um, Judas Maccabee, they actually printed money, and on their and on their coins, they put um, palm branches representing their independence, and um, and so they're looking forward. They see all of this, and you and I see all of it, and we see all of it even more clearly. They hoped he was a king, and yet he disappointed many. We know that he's a king, and in him there is no disappointment. Um, he comes in peace. He, he calls us away from the sword. Um, the king, his kingdom is going to come because his power isn't from this world. So today, as we have the ability to live into this day, and all of us are following our king, we're called to use his power, and it means to go the way of peace. Um, if we really want to honor him, if we really want to throw down before him our cloaks, give him reverence, it's going to mean following the way that he lives and utilizing his power and his way. If you want to declare Jesus king, then bow before him and serve him and obey what he calls us to. So let me give you this encouragement. We have every reason in the world today to declare the truth that Jesus is the true king of the world. Let's show it by our actions. May, may he keep you and may he bless you. Have a great day. Amen.